Hello everyone, this is me Lucy for Ryan and today we are going to see how to implement Whistle SOAP web services in Java application and how to import Whistle and how to create Java classes and then we will see the request by using SOAP UI. So let's get started with our project. Uh, just we are just creating a simple Java application here. So creating new folder with Java project, and I'm just giving the name with test Bristol. So this one is SOAP Web Services. And then just create next, and then create finish. So these are our uh, folder. Now let's go and see how to implement Whistle to implement the SOAP web services. So this is the URL uh, which I am using for the Whistle. This is for global weather. Uh, I am just going to check the weather by city name and the country name. So this is our Whistle. Mm, this see here there is two things which we have to keep in our mind. The first one is Whistle service that is global weather and it is implementing the Whistle port global weather soap. So in this case what we have to do is we are just going to create a folder here. Uh, but uh, in real project what will gonna happen is you don't have to do these things. Uh, there is a Whistle already in uh, application server which is uh, set up by the team. So test whistle and I am just trying to create one more folder for the source where we are just trying to copy all our Java classes here. So let's go back here in our document and try to run command line here. So give me what? Okay, let's run a command line here. Open command line here. Okay, so this is our command line. Uh, let me go and create here. Okay. So here I'm just trying to run the command window over here, and we have to write our command line to import our web services so keep and i'm just trying to so the folder which i have created the source one now you have to paste the whistle path okay let me copy whistle path here mm -mm 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 -mm. so paste it uh, let's enter and then it, it will parse the whistle and then it will generate the code for us and inside source folder it will look there is a two folder now in the source folder it will create our java classes which we are going to implement in our web services so let's get this started So let's do let's do it now. Uh, uh, in our package class, we have to create one package to implement our request. So I'm just going to create one class over here where we write all the code here for the uh, whistle test whistle let's create one okay we will create our method later so now we have to create one more package to copy all the java code which we have created uh, package name will be uh, let me see the 
so I'm using this package name because uh, we have uh, install we have created all our, our classes uh, these, these classes are implementing that package name so let's go here and so now inside this package we are just copying these classes which we are uh, which we imported from our uh, wizard right so control c and paste it so in this case what we are trying to do is we are uh, creating we are implementing uh, consuming whistle to create our java classes and then we will send request for to check the weather by the city name get weather by city name or country name and to check the weather so we have to implement this feature so global weather and global soap is there so let's go and create main classes main method sorry and here global weather right mm. so i am just creating new object uh, global weather but in real project what will gonna happen is uh, you don't have to copy this file so let's create global weather and we are getting global weather soap right uh, port name is global weather soap so we are getting that class over here let me see here yeah, global weather soap get global weather soap and we are storing this thing in our new local variable global weather soap and the return type of this global weather soap is global weather soap so just return global weather soap now we are using this stop global weather soap to get the city name let me see look get cities by country so first uh, we will implement this one and then later on we will see another uh, another uh, by cities and country also uh, I'm just trying to store this one. Make local variable for the country name. So this one is country name. And we are storing this thing in the string. okay let's give the proper name value and the return type is string and now we are just trying to print this thing in our java application all right so we are done here but what we are trying to get is uh, we are getting country name and then we are trying to display the country available for us we just trying to get the request by city so let's go and create a soap ui uh, soap ui for the request and response so in my next video you will see how to run this application and then how to see how to test you the application uh, the request using soap ui and how to debug and see either value is passed or not so thank you for watching guy thank you see you in the next video thank you